Hey Paul, can you um, unmute yourself? Hey, what's up everyone? Brad Smith here with HealthLink and I am here with Paul Cano, owner of BFF in Home Fitness, all the way out in Fresno, California. Paul, how are you today? I'm doing great. How are you doing, Brad? Hey, I'm doing excellent. Thank you so much for joining me on this interview. Um, you know, we've done a lot of research on your company. It looks like you guys are doing some different things and some really, you know, cool things. Uh, let me look at this review real quick. Paul is an amazing trainer, fitness enthusiast, and an amazing person. So I guess I want to know what makes you an amazing person first. You could just <laughs> introduce yourself. Uh, uh, definitely, yeah. My name is Paul Cano. I'm here at Fresno, California. Um, what makes me an amazing person, honestly, that I love to give. I love to give. Uh, I think that's really what people really enjoy and love about me is that I'm uh, I'm not there for any other agenda other than to help them out. Um, and, and when you can help someone out and feel good about that, and then if you have a skill such as training, fitness, uh, and of course being a trainer, you're a motivator, you're sometimes a counselor, sometimes um, just someone to kind of, uh, just an ear to talk to, and you're really there to give to them and, and, and just be there for them. Uh, I really feel like that's what really people really enjoy and get the, the, the fun uh, uh, interactions out of me. And then of course we do the hard workouts and then we, uh, we, we sweat and then uh, push on through throughout that. That's awesome. Yeah, you know, I think we all get in the business to help others and help others change their life. And tell me a little bit about the backstory. What got you into the health and fitness industry? Okay, uh, definitely, yeah. My, um, my background, uh, uh, started off um, a, a pretty obese kid, uh, eating a lot of unhealthy foods, um, actually pretty much headed in the wrong direction as an overall person, uh, was uh, into the, a lot of the, the, um, the type of uh, negative lifestyle that a lot of uh, youth live um, in the streets a lot, eating unhealthy, um, just being not a positive person. Um, I joined boxing. My mother actually said uh, she made me join boxing club. And uh, I have a, a coach there by the name of Pete Lopes. He's a, a great man. Uh, what he did is he pretty much, uh, uh, he pretty much showed me that if you want to be successful, you got to work hard. And the things that you actually want, um, you can have if you work for them. So from there on, I started working and I started getting and I started receiving and then I started benefiting from that and other people around me started benefiting from it. So really, I think what got me into this was that if I work for something such as my fitness and, and boxing at the moment, um, it can bring a positivity. And then I got people doing the same thing I was doing. Like, hey, it's working for me. Maybe it works for you. Working out, eating right, being healthy. I had a bunch of just kids out there running with me. We're all kids running, exercising, push-ups, sit-ups, eating, just everything from waking up 5 in the morning when most, most kids are still sleeping in. We're out there running and doing uh, uh, the hard work. But it really helped build everybody. Um, and throughout that, just helping everybody, there was a, uh, uh, people who looked at me, uh, 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 just for help and, and I really enjoyed giving help and it was really easy for me. So from there on, uh, I started helping more and more people started coaching. Uh, after I stopped uh, boxing, uh, I took that all the way professional, I stopped boxing at the age of 20 and I started coaching then, uh, the kids from there, I was coaching a nonprofit boxing club called belly vipers boxing. Um, uh, and from there. I coach kids, and, and I really have a passion for coaching kids, always. Um, but then the parents wanted to work with me, too. Hey, you know, my kid, I brought him to you, and he's lost 20 pounds. He's been with you. He's totally changed his life. How can I jump on board? All right, well, uh, I'm not certified in training adults, so I went and got certified. That was about seven years ago. Um, now, uh, since then, I've been training more adults, training the youth, training everybody I get in contact with, really with the same goal of helping others just to get the same results that I got from working, working and getting the results. How did it make you feel when uh, you were helping those kids out? Oh, amazing. It, it's, uh, uh, it's my calling. Put it like that. It's my calling. It's what I'm supposed to do. Um, and it's what I love to do. And um, I continue to do it day after day. And I'm growing myself so I can continue to do it as I continue to get older and uh, help more and more youth. So, the feeling I would tell you is um, uh, uh, is purely, uh, I would say it's undescribable. It really just feels like it's what you're supposed to do. It's home. 
That's awesome. All right, Paul and Alex have changed the way me and my husband think of fitness. This is another review I'm reading. Um, they have supported me in working towards my fitness goals in so many ways. Um, who's Alex and how, what's your, tell us a little bit about your business. Well, Alex, uh, he's uh, one of the trainers that works with us. Um, uh, we started off about, uh, I met Alex about three years ago and, and he wanted to become a personal trainer and uh, uh, pretty much helped him get started. And now he's a fantastic blossoming trainer, has a real passion for helping out others. And that's the same passion we all share. I have a team of four trainers, me, Alex, John, Shay, who continue to grow. Um, uh, but we all have the same passion. Everybody on the team is not, um, it's not just to beat people down. It's not to uh, 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 just empower us and make us feel like, hey, we should be telling you what to do. It's really, again, going back to giving, really giving back to our clients. Everybody's different. So the way that they say, and we change the way they look at health and fitness, because most people look at this like a PE class, like it's something you have to do. Like it's just, uh, you just, you just got to do it. And you know, you don't have, you don't have to enjoy it. You just go do it. And the way we would do that is we say, no, we really actually want you to look forward to your workouts. Um, and if that means that you don't like burpees, guess what? We don't do burpees. If that means that you don't like uh, uh, doing um, uh, uh, push-ups, guess what? we'll find another way around that. But we do make sure you get a uh, done what needs to be done. And then we find uh, uh, preferences and we're really adjustable. We're really, um, I think that's really what makes us unique is we're not coming with cookie cutter programs. Every client is different. Everybody is different. Every trainer is different. So we all deal with our clients and, and uh, very differently, but we all are about the client first and whatever they want as far as what makes them look forward to the workouts, we're going to provide that for them. And we're going to, from everything from the workout to the eating to the recreational sports that they play, we're all going to support that. Wow, that's incredible. And it's good to hear that because, you know, we got in business because it felt good helping others. So it needs to be about your clients. It needs to be about what their goals are. I'm actually doing a video on Monday where just focusing on, you know, it's not about you as in your business. It's about helping people see what their goals are based on what they need, not just what you think they need. It's what they need, what their bodies need mentally, physically, and emotionally also. So that's the part. That's the part. I feel a lot of people miss that, that um, you have to listen. You ha as a trainer, big part of it is listening and then reading, listening and reading and feeling the energy, the tone, everything, their, their excitement and what gets them going. And whatever gets them going, doesn't matter what gets me going, whatever gets them going, that's what I'm gonna run with. Cause then it builds, it builds, it builds. And I'm big on the snowball effect as far as, you know, you get a little ball going or you get a little thing going, next thing that builds and builds and builds. Next thing you know, you're doing workouts you never thought you would be doing, but you built on top of from that little small thing that you enjoy. And then we're gonna build from that. So. Um, yeah, I really feel like that's something that we do uh, uh, pretty well, pretty well, and I, I pride myself on that. All right. Shay Farts de exceeded my expectations. He was extremely professional, uh, made me feel super comfortable, and was super supportive the entire session. So you guys, you have a professional team around you. You guys are really focused on your clients' needs. Um, tell me, tell the audience a little bit about your program. It's all mobile. You don't have a facility. You go to them. You say you're going to an apartment complex today. Tell me a little bit about how that works and also the professionalism needed when you are going to these people's homes and uh, businesses. Totally. totally. So uh, again, we have a team, uh, Valley Club Fitness, we are a team of certified and insured personal trainers. What we do is we bring our equipment and we bring it to the client's homes. So we pretty much bring the gym to the people's homes, living room, garage, backyard, whatever works best for them. Um, that really benefits a lot of people who are just really busy. And today's lifestyle, that's a lot of people. Um, and, and especially for families that can't get away from their their uh, their two year old or, or or their kids uh, for their household of kids that they can't just go to the gym and work out they can't and take care of themselves we're going to be going to them and we can take care of that mother also those businessmen that are um, just on the go on the go on the go just really busy busy people and they need someone to really show them where to go make it really effective as far as you're not going to be at the, if you don't have time to, to go to the gym for two hours, we're not going to have you with a program that's going to be causing you to go at the gym for two hours. If all you have is 30 minutes, we're going to maximize that 30 minutes. Uh, uh, so that's really what makes us, um, uh, what, what helps us unique in that field. But um, going back to what makes us professional is that we are, again, about the client, but we hold a very professional manner. We 
hold ourselves to the standard that a doctor would hold himself to. Um, if we're professionals in the fitness industry, we have to hold us to that same standard. Um, that means that if a, 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 if a doctor uh, comes to his appointment, he definitely knows what he's doing ahead of time. He did his research ahead of time. He's coming very professional, very prepared, um, and, and he knows what he's supposed to be doing there. Um, from all that, also, he's, he's uh, uh, knowledgeable. He, he's in, in, uh, uh, practicing that knowledge, and not only that, but growing the knowledge. That's another big thing that we have as our full team. We're constantly pushing growth of knowledge. And we're constantly taking more and more classes to grow, not uh, individually, but also as a team. Uh, uh, so that is another thing that helps us become more professional. And, and what we do as far as a whole business, we go to people's homes, we bring the equipment there, we give them a great 30-minute to a 60-minute workout from there. We uh, create the program that they would follow on the days that they're not with us. Um, uh, uh, so if you're on Monday through <laughs> – this is Alex. Hey, Alex. He's actually over here. This is uh, – <laughs> Man, how's it going? Show us those muscles you got the tank top on. Yeah, no, yeah, I just show, show off a little, a little bit. A little, a little, a little. I, I did a workout real quick, so. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Alex is one of the trainers. Yes, Alex. Yeah. That was actually the review you read about. Was Alex? Yeah. 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 Um, yeah let me. Just, I mean, what are you guys? What are you guys talking about? Yeah. So, um, hey everybody, we're on, we're live on Facebook right now. Um, if you guys like this business model where they travel to your home in your busy schedule and they help you out, give them a thumbs up, give them a heart, even if you like if you like this. And also post any comments if you have any comments on here uh, for your fitness or health. And I'll try to get, um, have Paul or Alex answer them at the end. So, you know, we were just talking about how you guys travel to people's businesses and really help them see results. Alex, while you, I have you on here, tell me uh, one of your biggest um, testimonials you have. Um, definitely. Uh, I have quite a few actually, but I think um, one of my, one of my uh, greatest achievements through one of my clients is uh, I had this, this one client. He was very uh, skinny. He was so it wasn't an overweight client. It was kind of like the exact opposite of a over, over typical, you know, overweight client. He was actually very skinny, anorexic at one point. Um, was having a lot of problems with his eating. Got out of a bad relationship. Um, and struggled with weight. And then uh, through weight training, I was able to kind of build some muscle in his body. He gained some confidence. And then from there, he started, you know gain some self-confidence so I think that was one of my one of my biggest achievements was like helping them gain self-confidence and uh you know being confident in his body and not feeling pressured and, and feeling like he has to look a certain way so I think that was like one of my biggest achievements I mean that's the complete opposite of what you usually hear for a testimonial so I'm really glad you use that as an example because there are people yeah. that suffer from from that you know off the top of your head everyone needs to lose weight right you think everyone needs to lose weight but what about those people that just can't put on weight they suffer from different symptoms. You know, say somebody's suffering from that right now, same exact problem. What's the first thing you recommend they should probably, you know, go to and start doing tomorrow or even today? Um, well, definitely. If you're, if you're suffering from like any form of uh, anorexia or bulimia, um, definitely we want to check out a specialist to make sure it's not anything too mental. You know, make, you, that's the first thing for uh, first thing. But also just, you know, being smart about your, your training program and realize you don't have to cut your calories. You don't have to restrict your eating so much. Um, you don't have to go so hardcore. You don't have to treat yourself like like crap. You know, you want to enjoy the process. Again, like Paul said, like this is a lifestyle. This is not a this is not a 30 day fix. This is not a six week plan. You know, this is a lifestyle. You got to enjoy every single moment of it. Because if you don't, you're not gonna stick with it. Um, I look forward to the gym. Like I'm heading to the gym right now. I just look forward to part of my day. Like I brush my teeth, take my shower, uh, hit the gym, and then bam, it's just part of my day. It's, it's just like clockwork. I don't even think about it. Um, and I tell all my clients, it's like, motivation is going to come and go. Like, you're going to lose motivation at one point. But it's developing habits. Habits don't break um, if you keep them there. Motivation comes and goes. So it's all about developing habits, making it your lifestyle. What, what was that client's name? Uh, Brian. So I'm sure, you know, Brian formed a relationship with you, right? Yeah. You guys built that relationship. You not only helped him physically, but mentally you guys probably became friends. You guys got closer and you were just there for him, you know, in every aspect of life. Now, is that something somebody should look for when they're looking for, um, you know, someone to help them with their goals? I think uh, definitely the trainer client relationship should be, it should be a friendship. It should be a friendship. And also um, there should be a relationship there. Cause I mean, we're, we're, we're helping you. We're guiding you through the process. I mean, you should enjoy our company and 
I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty much, it goes hand in hand. Like, you know, if, if you become friends with us, that makes it even more enjoyable when we come over, you know, you're happy to see us, you got a smile on your face and it just makes it more enjoyable, makes the process a lot more better. Um, so I definitely, definitely see positive benefits of having a positive relationship with the trainer. Definitely. definitely. Yeah. That's awesome. Would, yeah, definitely. I would jump on that too. You know, um, I think, you know, uh, working with these clients, uh, uh, especially, you know, us being so young, you know, and we can't, uh, uh, it's, we're not really so much, uh, um, trying to, uh, uh, force anything on them, but more instruct them. You know, we deal with a lot of, uh, uh, uh or elderly, even doctors that are very, very knowledgeable, you know, in the, uh, in the health industry. So we are really instructing uh, a lot of others. And then when we come to more of the youth, we come in the more of a coaching and still with all the adults, we also have a coaching atmosphere, a relationship as well, where we can still listen, take advice from us and trust and believe us. That takes time. just like any coach, uh, 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 sport relationship. Um, uh, the coach has to earn the trust. And so we do that from day one. We go on in there. We, we, we establish yourself as professionals and we let them know that we're not here for our purpose, but we're here for your purpose. And I really feel like that creates the friendship knowing that we're, there for them because we have that connection but two we're also coaches because they trust us to be able to tell them what they need to do and trust that that's actually going to work yeah that's yeah. awesome i love the story you guys have you know the great story getting started starting in the sports industry already boxing um learning that you really need to focus on the client not yourself when it comes to building those relationships helping them see goals now let's get into the business side we have a lot of business help business owners watching Paul, tell me a little bit about what it was like starting your business. Maybe some struggles hard, that you hard. went through. It is hard. It's hard. No, but um, it's it's beautiful. Like really, um, you have to uh, uh uh you have to go with your gut as far as if you have a, a business idea and you really feel like this is gonna work, it can work and it will work if you work for it. Um, uh, so everybody who wants to start or is barely starting in your first year, your first five years. Um, I'm barely in uh, year number three, so I'm still also learning those stages too and growing and growing and growing. But I could tell you, as young, uh, uh, there's a lot of people entering the fitness industry right now. Know what you want to do. Follow your passion. Don't follow anybody else's um, structure. Don't follow anybody else's plan. Follow your passion. So if you are um, someone who enjoys lifting the weights and going hard and heavy in the gym, you, you should probably be in a gym. But if you're someone who enjoys, you know, um, you know, running and being a, a, a runner, go into your atmosphere, you're working with more of the runner type uh, uh, clients and show them how to be better runners and, and really be the best you you can be and help others get the same benefit from that. And going to the business side of it, if you want to be owning a, a, the business of it to su be successful trainer, you can't just be good at training. You have to also be smart with your finances. You have to also know how to manage your time. You also have to uh, learn how to manage your relationships. Um, you have to uh, 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 manage. Uh, 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 there's, a, there's so many things that go into uh, the, the business aspect of it. So I would say find yourself a, a, a local community that actually supports. You can go to the uh, Chamber of Commerce, a local Chamber of Commerce, or find a, a SBA, which is a small business association or SCORE. Look them up online. Find them up. They're great for helping you understand the business side, yeah. business side of it. And the fitness side, that's on you. And I'll elaborate on, on Paul's point because Paul's been doing it a little bit longer than me. I mean, he's, he's 25 and I'm 21, so I'm like a really fresh face in this. So I'm like really like learning everything. And when he, when he said finances and like money management, I know Paul said like that's like one of the number one things that one, – number one reasons why businesses fail is because it's just poor money management. And uh, I was experiencing some uh, – just, you know, I just got, you know, I came out the parents' house, you know, got a new place. So I was, I'm still in the stage where I want to have fun in life, but I know I need to be smart with my finances. And then it took a lot of, took a lot of failures. It took a lot of overdraft fees and a lot of, just a lot of messing up to realize like I need to hone my skills and finances. I know it's not my strong suit, but I need to have at least a good foundation or else I'm going to sink. So I'm learning that even now, the process, and I'm getting better. So, um, that's definitely true. If you're a new trainer, I would say work on your finances. That's definitely a big part of it. <laughs> and and giving going to my last thing I would say is just don't quit. You know, it's a long journey and be patient. Like if you really want, like you're telling your clients, 
Work, 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 work. If you don't see the results, it's okay. Keep working, working, working. Be patient. Work for it. Don't stop. Do what you're supposed to do. Follow the structure. Keep going, going, going. That's what the business is. It's just nonstop. Live it. Love it. But if you love and it's your passion, like, it's not work. It's just you got to do it. But, um, uh, uh, like, you should really wake up every day fired up, ready to go at it. Like, wake up every single day. I wake up at 4.30 a.m. I get to my first client. I'm fired up, ready to go. And I hit the rest of my day always about 10 p.m. And I do it again day after day after day. Monday through Friday, a little bit on a Saturday. And I'm fired up about it. I love it. Um, so I'm saying, if you want to enter into this field, make sure you are that. Make sure you're fired up about it. And make sure you really want to go train your clients. If you're not willing to go train a client for free, this isn't your business. All right, this is an interesting question, and I like to ask it because I've got a good answer for myself, too. How much money did you make the first month in the fitness industry? My first month in the fitness <laughs> industry, I actually started training kids as a nonprofit for 50 bucks a month, and I would be there six days, seven days a week sometimes, two, three hours at a time. Um, I lost money. I lost money my, my first year of doing this. Um, your, my first couple years of doing this, you don't really – um, uh, make too much. Um, it's really about giving. But you have to build yourself first. You know, um, uh, a lot of people enter the industry, they take the certification, and they're ready to go at it. But it really takes um, some coaching. You know, really find yourself. Uh, uh, I would say anybody entering this, find yourself a knowledgeable, experienced trainer. And usually, these guys are really uh, uh, friendly, um, and they're willing to coach a younger individual. Like I found, I found many actually, and it's just beautiful to work with them and they're going to tell you um how to follow so anybody um yeah find some coach yeah i yeah. i think you really hit on you hit on something when you said um follow what you're passionate about so you can start off that say you like being in a gym or you like traveling um helping people with their running find that passion and then follow your exact steps and start building relationships with those clients in the passion that you're most interested in when you succeed Exactly. And you don't, don't expect your first month to be the most successful because nobody knows you yet. You got to build up those relationships. People have to get to know that you actually care about them. They don't know that that first month. So, you, you know, first couple of months are going to be a struggle the first year or two. But from there, if you're really focused on those people's needs and their goals, your business will eventually blow up and grow so you can help more people. Yes. Yes. And that's what it comes down to is, is when it comes down to all of your business, it should not be for money. Um, it should be for your purpose of helping others. And the money is just uh, tools to grow and expand that and help more and more people. So definitely for all you uh, uh, really looking to get started in there, find yourself, find your passion, know your passion, find someone in alignment with your passion, do what they're doing and, and be innovative because at this day and age, everything's changing. Like the, 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 the trainers that, that were doing it 10 years ago are doing different differently and the newer trainers doing things differently. So be quick to change because it's changing. Yeah. I mean, that's awesome. Even for people that have experienced that have been in it 10 plus years, you know, I feel like they could tend to forget the core value is helping those customers. They start getting, you know, they have their own things going on in their life. They might have stress with their business. Um, they might be a little bit more focused on themselves or whatever their goals are. So even an experienced business owner may forget. So if you could just get back and people see it when you actually care about their goals put them first people see that and the results there all right i want to get back into a couple more things about your business uh what yeah. what exercise do you have in your clients do right now i know you guys have some crazy stuff on your social media so tell me uh, some uh, good stuff you got going on fantastic so uh one thing my personal favorite i love boxing obviously so i love coaching boxing too every single one of my clients and often the biggest thing i'm like yeah i never done boxing i'm not sure if i should be doing it uh, I'm not sure. I put, wrap them up, get them nice and ready. I show them the basics. Next thing you know, the girls, especially the girls love it. The ladies are loving the boxing. Guys are really enjoying it as well. Um, uh, and so that's my favorite is I love bringing the boxing mitts. We start doing some knees, some kicks and everything else. But of course I bring out the dumbbells, the kettlebells, the bristles and bands and, uh, uh, moving into that direction. But my personal favorite, if I can do it all day, every day is boxing. But again, it's not about me. It's about the client. So uh, <laughs> I can do it as I can. Oh, your first client's at 5 a.m.? Uh, yeah, my first client's 5 a.m., Monday through Saturday. Um, and I usually finish up about 10 p.m. Um, and uh, 9 p.m. sometimes. 
Um, uh, and then doing that Monday through Friday, and then Saturday I work about half a day. Sunday, nothing. I enjoy it. Take one day off. I advise everybody in the beginning, try to find that one day off. But I'm not going to lie. The first three years, I didn't take a single day off. You just, you just keep working. But um, eventually you want to find that one day off. <laughs> Man, I don't know how that 5 a.m. client handles all the energy. Oh, oh, they um, uh, <laughs> they, 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 they enjoy it. They enjoy it. They're great. They're great morning people as well. And, and you know what? I'll tell you this. From the beginning of my business from three years ago to now, I've always had a 5 a.m. client. And I really enjoy um, uh, the ability to wake up and get the fresh air. Start your day early and just go at it. Go at it. Go at it. Um, but again, I'm a morning person as well. Uh, I, I used to have a 5 a.m. client, and um, I, I trained him for so long, he eventually became a trainer. So I don't have to train him at 5 a.m. anymore. <laughs> there we go. I love that. Actually, our new uh, uh, one of our new uh, trainers, um, Claudia, she uh, was one of my uh, old clients. Uh, she was um, uh, uh, diabetic. Uh, she was a diabetic and uh, trained with me for a while, uh, about three months, got her off her meds. She's been trained to, to the next level, did a model competition. Now she's a trainer with us, and um, uh, so yeah, I have sim similar experience. That's well, awesome. Man. Alex, how many days do you take off a week? Or uh, does Paul have you going seven days? I, I'm honestly, I'm probably about, I'm really scattered, <laughs> so probably like seven days a week. I'm not, I'm not nearly as a, I, I, I would probably say I'm not as consistent as Paul as far as like, you know, it's going to be from from five all the way to ten. I'm more scattered and spread out, so. Right now, it's just I know I'm still paying my dues. Like, I'm pretty much where he was, what, like, two years ago? Yeah. Three years ago, so. Like, he's I'm, coming. He's yeah. coming. He's coming yeah. along great. Yeah, he's yeah. coming along great. But, yeah, everybody got to pay their dues. Two more <laughs> years, and you can have a day off. Yeah, two more years, and I get a day off. <laughs> All right. Pretty much. One more testimonial. I was skeptical when I started with Paul last year. I've been a runner. However, his training has made me and my husband run faster and stronger. So uh, tell me, tell the audience exactly what you guys offer. So what we did for that client, they're, um, they're marathon runners. So there's a lot of marathon runners out there. And this is something, this, I'm glad you asked me that. I brought that one up. Marathon runners are um, usually they think of themselves pretty healthy. And usually they are pretty healthy on the typical side. Um, but there's a big point uh, which a lot of marathon runners miss, which is strength training. Um, and a lot of people are missing that strength training, the squats, the lunges, everything else that goes along with that. Of course, the upper body, the core, the stabilization, the flexibility, um, even the working on the quick, uh, the quick sprints, some high intensity training. All that would really benefit a jogger such as them, or runners. Who, uh, and since we started about a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago, um, they had uh, the husband and wife have dramatically increased their time on their marathons, the half marathons. And um, that is something that uh, uh, was beautiful for me because it was, they were my first marathon runners that I had to train. So what I had to do was force me to research and, and, and educate myself on what a marathon runner should be doing to be the best marathon runner that it could possibly be. And so it challenged me, and I love that they challenged me on that. And so from there on, um, uh, uh, I've gotten to learn a fantastic uh, marathon training program. and. I make my clients adapt it and bring it on to their training for a regimen. And of course it's working out beautiful for everybody. So I think something that we offer, which can be told from that story is if you're unique, we, we adapt, we adapt very well. Um, and we love, we love, we love adapting to everybody's unique needs. And uh, uh, if you're already running, we're not going to have you running. Um, uh, so, so I think, yeah, I, I think we adapt very well. In home personal training, you guys will travel to them help them with whatever needs and goals they have. Um, Fresno, California. And how far do you branch out from Fresno? Right now we're servicing Fresno, Clovis, uh, a little bit of Kerman, a little bit of Sanger, um, and we're continuing to grow. Uh, we're, we want to continue to grow throughout the whole Fresno County and continue throughout the Central Valley, hence Valley Family Fitness. We uh, uh, plans on growing and reaching Merced, uh, Visalia, uh, continuing to growing on and, and, and moving to the Central Valley and really just maximizing what we can do for the Valley. And really what it's doing is we're educating. We can go to people's homes. We get the personal relationship. We show them that we care for them. And then we show them the plan. 
and they, they follow that plan and they drop off. They follow the, it's, it's a journey. They go up and down, they go up and down. But we get to be there up the whole time. We're there for them, showing them and walking through it. And it's a long journey. And we get to show them at the very end of our program you know, whether they could continue to choose with us or stay with us, which a lot of clients, my first client that I've had three years, uh, my first start of the business, still training them. So whether they continue to train with us or they continue to go on their own, we point them and we guide them and we show them a lifestyle. We're a lifestyle trainers. We're not program trainers. We're lifestyle trainers. And I think that's really what makes us, again, a little bit more unique. Okay, so the Valley area, Fresno, California, um, somebody lives there, they can contact you. Someone travels there, maybe they can get a workout in at their hotel, at their gym. Um, <laughs> I tagged your uh, Facebook page on there. What are some other ways somebody can get a hold of you, whether they live there or they're traveling there for a weekend or something? So for our own, you can always give us a call at 559-289-7029. Check out our website at vffca.com. Um, check us out on social media, vff underscore ca. That's on uh, Facebook, Instagram. Um, we also have our YouTube channel up. Um, and we're all about educating. And, and we don't charge for education. We're here totally to help every single person we're on. That's where we're going on live, trying to expand and get to everybody we can. If you're in New York and you feel like, you know what, I relate to Paul or Alex, I feel like they can help me, please message us. We will give you everything that we can um, uh, and just help you out the best we can. And that's really what we're about, everybody. But again, I'll take care of the Sister Valley as well. <laughs> awesome, yeah, definitely check out their Instagram page. Um, I see them posting some really cool workout videos, so if you need some inspiration, you can check them out. I'll post that in uh, the comments under this video. Paul and Alex, thank you so much for joining me for this interview. You know, I'm looking forward to seeing you guys just keep growing. All right. Thank you, Brad. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good.